I spent the last three years of my life pretty much alone. And you know, at first it was pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie. Coming from my hometown and having friends and a family and just knowing people, coming from that to a new city, not even a city, a new state. Like I've tried to fit in, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, just most people, I just, I don't know, I can't, I don't, ex I don't allow myself to just let go and just truly trust a new person because honestly at this point in my life, I've been hurt so many times, not even just by friends, but from people I thought I could trust, from girls, you know, guys that I thought had my back, people that I thought would be there when I needed the most. And you know, I've gotten to the point where I realized you can't really rely on other people. Maybe that's just me saying that now and in like in 10 years, I'm like, Todd, that's cr a crazy take. Like, no, have friends. But I haven't really been able to find, you know, new friends that I can genuinely connect with because, you know, Miami is just a very different city. You know, it's so tough having such a ambitious mindset. Like so many people say they wish they were ambitious or they want to do great things in life, which granted, are nice like of course i'm happy that i'm i just hit 2k subscribers i'm in miami now i'm living my life but you know having this kind of mindset is so hard keeping relationships and i'm not done going up you know i'm going to continue to just keep grinding and pushing but it's so detrimental to relationships and trying to just stay with people i remember seeing videos like this you know talking about having no friends you know, being a loner or whatever. And I always thought to myself, there are billions and billions of people on this earth. How on earth can you not find anybody to like you until I became that person? The kind of mindset I have doesn't allow me to just, I don't know, just be normal with other people. I'm never able to just be in a conversation. I'm never able to just be present. I'm always thinking of the future. I'm always trying to improve. I'm always just, pushing forward. Most people are not ambitious. Most people don't want to improve. Most people are okay with just keeping the same things that they have, which is okay. Like, I don't even like, I don't say this to hate. When you're constantly talking about, yo, let's do this, or how are we gonna do this, or the future, or that doesn't matter. People don't want to be around you. It's annoying, I get it, I know it. I annoy myself sometimes, guys. I sit in my bed, literally like at like 12 p.m. sometimes, wondering why do I think the way I do? It's so stressful. Waking up constantly thinking about what I'm gonna do, how this is gonna happen, how I'm gonna do this. It's so fucking annoying. But when you're a person that doesn't give up, it, I don't know, just has delusional confidence, people just can't stay with that. And I don't blame them, bro. My life has not been easy. I've been through some fucking challenges. I get it. Like when I first moved here, my friends, my, from my, my hometown friends, you know, when I first moved here and they decided to stay back, at first I thought it was because, you know, they just wasn't ready or they were trying to do their own thing or whatever. But now I realize that it was probably just fear. The fear of the unknown. What's gonna happen? We never lived on our own. We never paid bills. We don't even know what taxes mean. And I remember like waving to my friends, bye, like see you guys later. Now I realize they didn't come, not because they didn't want to, but because of fear and I don't blame them. So let's go back to the beginning, to where it all began, how I got here. It all started at 18 years old when I met the gym. I spent at least four to five hours a day, weekly, every single day in the gym. Guys, most people are not in the gym six hours a day. They're not doing that. You know, I get it. I don't do that today. That shit is hard. I don't even know how I did that. Looking back, that's just crazy. But I did that. And me going to that gym every day, even though I didn't want to, I, I don't know, I guess instilled some kind of mindset to where I am so resilient to every bit of, like, you can throw anything at me, and I'm going to take it. Like, guys, I've been home. I've been through fucking shit. Nothing you do to me can stop me. Like, I I am resilient to every piece of bullshit this world has to throw at me. Like, I am ready for it. Throw it at me. I'm ready. Come at me. Shortly after, I moved to Miami at 20, and moving here pretty much separated me from everybody that I knew. This is not just a new city, guys. This is a brand new state, 20 hours away. Miami people are so different from everybody else in the world. I don't know what is going I've said this in multiple videos, but bro, oh my God. People in Miami, I just, I can't, I, I refuse to even try to be friends with, oh, let's do this because all they want to do is party, drink, smoke, and have sex with 
a bunch of girls. I, I, I'm not into that. You know, I'm not, I enjoy my alone time. I enjoy going to the beach. I enjoy going to the park and relaxing. I'm not into the club scene, but pretty much that's all Miami is. So since I got here, I haven't really been able to find my core group of friends. I would say high school drama and the way people act in high school is similar to how people act in Miami. The messiness, oh this and that, oh you fuck my girl. All of that happens in this city. I never really cared for it back in high school, so I don't really care for it now. So now I've gotten to a point where I live in a city that I just can't make genuine friends. Now I don't wanna say there's nobody in Miami that's like cool, I'm not gonna say that, but 90% of people, fuck man. Get out of the club. You've been in the club every single day this, this week. Stop, get out of the club. Why are you still in the club? And I come to the realization, you know, I might have to be friendless for some time. And if the YouTube blows up, fuck, how am I gonna get friends then? Like, man, if I don't have friends now, and I'm broke now, can I make genuine friends then? Like, how would it be genuine? This is such a dilemma, man. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I remember seeing movies and hearing people talk about their stories about how the road to success is so lonely. And you know, when I first started my YouTube channel, I didn't even know what I was getting myself into. Like, if someone would've told me, Ty, this YouTube channel is gonna separate you from pretty much everybody that you know and love, your friends, your family, your dog, Peanut, would you have done it? Like, what would, would you do it? And you know, me now, of course, I'm gonna say yes every single time. I love YouTube, I would never give this up. Man, has it separated me from so much. It's like, it, it brought me so much, but at the same time, it took so much from me. Like, I haven't seen my family in two years. Three years, fuck, I'm forgetting, the time is flying. Three years, it's almost been a full high school fucking reunion, whatever, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but you know what I'm trying to say. It's almost been a full high school four years, like, how is time flying by this fast? I didn't know it was gonna be this lonely. Like, I knew I was gonna lose some friends and maybe some people that I didn't like, but my core friends, my core friendship, the people that I was the closest with, them too? There have been times where I literally ask myself, like, why do I keep going? Like, why don't I just go to college? Why don't I just, you know, be normal? Whatever that means. Why, do, why, can't, like, why can't I? Because, you know, of course my mom, she doesn't want me to live bad. She wants me to be happy and, and have a good life, but I don't know, I just, I can't turn that part of myself off. There's nights where, I'm not gonna say I'm crying, but I'm on the verge of tears just because it's just so much pressure and so much just stress of life. And I just, why? Do I do this to myself? I do it to myself. I know it. It's not like it's crazy. Like I do it to myself. Your mentality is so different than the rest. It's so hard for you to fit in. Like people just automatically just I don't know if it's because most people just feel inferior or intimidated. I don't know. You know, I'm just I feel like I'm a normal person or maybe it's me. I don't maybe I don't connect because there are times where people like try to be friends with me or like, so let's go out, let's do this. And I'm always just saying no. Even though I know I don't want to be lonely, I don't want to be, you know, in bed 11 p.m. by myself, I want friends, you know, I want to go out and enjoy my life, but I don't, like, I just can't turn off the mentality of, Ty, you don't need to be going out enjoying life right now. You don't need to be doing this. You don't need to be spending your money on this. You need to just keep working until you get to a point where you're okay. And I just, that doesn't turn off ever. So I got to a point where, I literally have no friends. Like, it's literally just me and Jerry. And if I didn't have Jerry, well, fuck. I wouldn't know what I would do. Like, bro, I would probably, I would just, I would probably go mentally insane. Like, seriously, like, I would just be sitting here by myself in my own thoughts, just, like, no, I can't, I could not imagine that. So as I mentioned, I did move here. But before I moved here, I did have, how many friends did I have? I don't even remember. Let me actually think this out. So in high school, I would say I was part of the popular kids, but I was also unpopular. Like people, there was a lot of people that, I wanna say didn't like me, but just didn't care for me. But there was also people that were like, oh, Ty's the guy. So like, I was kind of in this in between, but that allowed me to have a lot of friends at the time. Granted, 
they were kind of like fake friends. Like they kind of dropped off pretty fast. But, you know, I still had like a friend group. Like, yo, you want to go to the movies? Let's go to the movies. You want to do this? Let's go. Let's go to Walmart and like fuck it up. I don't know. We just, I was doing things back then. But now it just seems like I'm just by myself. Like 90% of my time just either doing YouTube or I might talk to Jerry like late at night whenever like I'm bored or something. I don't know. When me and Jerry first moved here, bro, we were only 20 years old. Like we are pretty much kids. Like we never experienced anything. We didn't pay bills. We didn't know what taxes really meant. So like looking back and me just saying, you know what guys, let's take off the Miami tomorrow. Fuck it. Let's do it. I realized most people don't and can't be that way because it, it, if everybody was like that, the world would not function. I realized that. If everybody was like me, the world could not continue. The world would just collapse into nothing. There has to be rational people in the world, but but when you're on the opposite spectrum and you're just you're just so different, it's just so hard to make friends. Like, bro, like most of the time, I don't even I can't even connect with people because they're talking about TikTok or a trend. I don't give a damn. I don't care. And I can't even pretend to care. That's my problem. Most people can like pretend care and like, oh wow, that's cool, and like kind of put up the persona, but I can't do it. I just, it's not me. Like I try, I used to do that, but it got to a point where I was just so tired of faking and trying to put on the persona, like, oh, oh wow, that's so cool, man. Like I can't, I'm done doing that. Like yo, if you're, you annoy me or you bore me, I'm not gonna like be mean about it, like, yo, get the fuck out of my face. I'm not gonna do that. But I'm gonna be pretty clearly disinterested in that. But I'm gonna be very clearly disinterested. Like I'm not gonna try to put on this fake persona to be likable. I'm not doing that. But then that pushes people away. They don't want to talk to you. Otai is quiet. I get called mysterious because I don't talk to people. Like, I come to, I go to work, and I just, I mean, I talk. I'm not saying like I'm mute, but I'm not like everybody else. Like everybody else is out there having fun, talking. Oh, let's go to the movies. Let's do this and that. And I'm just like, I like, yes, I do want to do like. Hearing it and like seeing it, like it seems fun. Like I want to do that. Like I, I've been in my apartment for like the last year or two, just doing nothing. Well, actually, in the beginning when I first moved here, I did go out a little bit. Since then, I haven't really been going out. It's just been me, Jerry, in this apartment, and maybe the beach. And it's so sad that I've become the archetype of the guy with no friends. It's been at least what seven months since I talked to my hometown friends. I don't even know what they're doing. I don't know. I remember the last time I talked to one of them, they just recently got in a relationship, so hopefully he's doing all right. Uh, my other friend, I, I I, don't even know. I haven't talked to him like a year. <laughs> no, it's just so sad. I mean, they did say the path to success is gonna be a lonely journey. I just never knew how lonely. I thought I was gonna be able to keep at least some of my friends. The path to success is a lonely journey, my friend. If you do want to become a YouTuber, now I'm not saying that you're gonna have to lose all your friends or it's inevitable, it's not. Maybe I could have took a different path, did different things, I don't know, but you know, it's just hearing people say success is a lonely journey and then actually experiencing it, it's just, I don't know. Maybe it is some truth to it that, you know, if you want to become truly successful, you want to do your own thing. You know, there is a, there is a level of, not giving a fuck that you have to, you know, partake in. When I tell you right now, I could care less how anybody views me, how they think about me, what they think, I, none of that matters. The only thing that matters to me is what I do and what I'm gonna continue to do to grow. That's all that matters. I have zero, see like, I can't even explain zero feeling to what people think about me. So when people are having fun and doing their own thing, you just let them do it, and you just sit alone. And you just sit alone, and alone, and some more. And you just become the guy that's just distant. People just look at, view. Oh wow, what is Ty doing? I wonder what he's doing right now. And you know, you can't get reached. People text me and I don't reply. I don't, I don't know why. When I say it all out loud, it's, it's really my fault. Like I should, I'm not blaming nobody. Like I became this guy because of my own personal like decisions. I chose this. I don't know. Hopefully one day, it gets better. We will see. But I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video because it's getting kind of late. Um, you know, I'm chilling here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably watch some more YouTube. I don't know. Love you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, 
my monetization bro for some odd reason so hopefully by the time this comes out my monetization is back on but my monetization has been turned off because i couldn't get verified with my id even though it was verified then it unverified so now i'm impending which is annoying but youtube helped me but other than that everything's looking all right um you know hopefully one day i have a good big group of friends and we're chilling doing videos or something together i don't know that would be my dream honestly you know it has been my biggest dream having friends that we all have similar interests, you know. But hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one though. See you.